Hi, my name is Dr. Sean Price, and welcome to this uh, case study of one of our actual patients in our office. Um, the patient on this case study, his name is Ed, and Ed was a very interesting story. Uh, we actually ran an ad in our newspaper for um, non-surgical spinal decompression, which is a machine that we use to treat herniated and bulging discs. And Ed came in as a response, or responded to that, uh, that advertisement, coming in to see if he could get some relief from some pain that he was having. Um, and as Ed's going to talk about in his portion of this video, um, he talks about how he was having some, some pain that was not resolving. Um, he had actually just gone to the hospital for some different health issues and um, had been diagnosed with fibromyalgia and was actually having a bout with Bell's palsy. So through our evaluation in our office, we determined that Ed had numerous metabolic issues going on. He had potential anemia situations. He had, um, he had blood sugar handling issues. Um, he had several nutrient deficiencies that were, that were involved. He had a lot of decreased brain function on one side versus the other. And um, so, you know, Ed came in for relief from his back pain, but actually ended up coming through our program um, of our neurometabolic program where we treated him metabolically, nutritionally, brain-based therapy, chiropractically. Um, and Ed did very, very well. So I'm gonna let Ed uh, tell you his story and uh, enjoy. Hi, my name's Ed Mashaw. Uh, just to give you a little update, uh, back in 84, I twisted seven vertebrae in my neck, shoulder, and back. Been going to a chiropractor since then. Um, I mean, each time I've gone, it got a little bit better to a certain degree, but I hit plateaus and it stayed that way. This year, uh, my wife had to look to see an article about Dr. Price, and I uh, thought, well, with this uh, compression, we thought we'd come in here and try it out. I came in here, well, before I came in here, I'd had the bout of um, uh, Bell's palsy. And then went in the hospital for a couple of days after that because my blood pressure and blood sugar went sky high and went crazy. And then ended up getting fibromyalgia. And that's when my wife saw the article for Dr. Price and we came in here to give him a shot. So I thought, well, maybe the compression would help my back. Well, he took a test and said, well, my brain's misfiring. I said, you got to be wrong. you got to have a brain before it misfire. He said, no, you've got a brain in there somewhere. I said, okay. Well, he did some tests and uh, has done all kinds of different things to me, to uh, uh, like uh, TENS machine and oxygen and stuff I've never used before. Uh, not quite like that. I've had the TENS before, but this was a little bit different the way he set it up. Uh, different little exercises. If you'd looked at me while I'm doing the exercise, you'd think I was crazy or something like that. Some of these exercises were a little weird, but hey, it worked. And lo and behold, I must have had a brain because it's starting to fire in the right, right direction. It's the best I've ever feel, felt since uh, 84. Um, first time in uh, my life, uh, not life, but ever since I've been hurt in 84. Uh, it's the first time I've been able to sleep eight, nine, ten hours without waking up. Uh, that is very unusual for me. Uh, normally I sleep anywhere from three to five hours a night and that's it. Uh, so it's really strange to sleep eight to ten hours and still sleep more on top of that. But uh, would I recommend Dr. Price? You bet. Uh, it might seem strange, like I said, on some of these exercises, but hey, it works. I'm not complaining about it. I keep doing it in front of people, so hey, what, what the heck, you know. But uh, again, like I said, I have no complaints. I feel the best I've ever done. I mean, it's the first time uh, since I hurt my back that my back's not even hurting. Uh, what else can I say? Just try them out. You'll love it. <laughs> 